what's up guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to create a super awesome fourth of july inspired outfit for this weekend i'm sorry that this video is coming to you guys a little bit later i plan to upload it a lot earlier than this but it just didn't work out that way so i'm sorry if this is too last minute for you guys to actually do it so i hope that you guys enjoy this video i'll be showing you guys how to create a super awesome tie-dye t-shirt as well as some bleached ombre shorts so if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel because it took me forever to film this intro and i don't even think it's still that good but anyways without further ado let's get started so you want to start off by taking a white t-shirt i was using a long sleeve shirt so i decided to cut off the sleeves and make a super cute tank top now I am taking this mini tie-dye kit and it came with one fabric dye color. So I was using red, of course, but you can use as many colors as you want. But I like this kit because it didn't cost too much. It was only $2 and it came with pretty much everything you needed. It even came with these gloves. I highly recommend using gloves so this way you don't stain your hands. So I am opening up my mini tie-dye kit. Always follow the instructions because the instructions may vary depending on what type of brand and what type of dye you are using. So for me, the bottle already had the fabric dye powder inside. All I had to do was just fill up the bottle to the neck of the bottle with water. So now it is time to kind of shape the shirt the way you want it. So I wanted to do a really cool swirl. So you just want to start by pinching in the middle and begin twisting your shirt all the way around until you get a swirl like this. And me being the dumb person that I can be sometimes, I did not realize that there were actually rubber bands inside of the kit. So if you have rubber bands, I recommend rubber banding your shirt so this way it stays together but because i was only using one color it didn't matter where the dye got i just began squirting the dye all around so this way the center of the shirt would be more white and then the outer part of the shirt would be more red so here's the part where i finally figured out there was actually rubber bands inside so even though i already added the dye in i still added some rubber bands just to section everything off so now moving on to the bleached shorts you want to get some bleach of course you want to use liquid bleach and water so you want to have one part water to one part bleach here you see me using powdered bleach and absolutely not should you ever use that because it's not going to work it's not going to have any sort of color stripping effect on your shorts so use liquid bleach i had to go back and redo the shorts using liquid bleach but trust me guys i did do this by myself so you want to dip your shorts you want to dip basically the entire thing into the bleach solution to try to concentrate all of the fabric then rinse out the excess this time you want to dip it in once more but only dip it in to about halfway this way only half of your shorts are getting soaked with the bleach solution and then once more dip the very ends of your shorts into the bleach so this way only a small section of your shorts are getting exposed to the bleach solution and this will create the ombre effect allow your tie-dye t-shirt to dry overnight you want to make sure that you rinse it out and hand wash it you want to hand wash it because if you put it in a load with other clothes, there's a great chance that the dye may leak onto your other clothes. And then you want to just allow it to dry. Now you can use the dryer machine if you want to, like I did, or you can just choose to let it air dry and that is and it. For your bleached shorts, you want to repeat the same process. I actually washed my bleached shorts by itself, but if you're someone who does not like to wash their things by itself because you think it's like wasteful, then just just hand wash it in the sink once again and then dry it using your dryer machine or you can just let it air dry overnight. Mm -hmm. 
So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because we would like to reach 350 subscribers by the end of the summer. That's like a big thing, but I know we can do it. So just do your part by giving this video thumbs up, commenting, all that great stuff. And I'll be sure to return the favor if you also have a channel. And to all of my American subscribers, happy 4th of July. And to all my Canadian subscribers, happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. And to all of my other subscribers who live in different countries, um, I still hope that you guys can use this video to your advantage because you can just customize the colors to make it according to your country or you can just make it just to wear it. It's super cute and it's super airy and summery. So I think that you guys will like it. Anyways, I will see you all later. Bye.